Museum of Art and Science and Perception. And I'm going to show you today one of my favorite exhibits, and it happens to be about perception. And it's called Color Shadows. So as people are walking throughout the museum, they come across this section, which just appears to be a plain white wall. And as they're walking towards it, may not notice it, but then suddenly, as they get closer, do you see that? What happened, right? So where did these colors come from? Colored shadows? How do shadows have color? Normally, people block the light, and it's a gray. But colored shadows? Well, you get colored shadows if you combine different colors of light. So behind, or in front of me, but behind the person is there walking up are red, green, and blue lights. And the combination of those lights makes white light, which you, we will see here. But when we get in front of it, the white light is still there, but then also are all these colors. So where do all these colors come from? Because I just told you red, green, and blue. But they're cyan and magenta and yellow. So how did we get these? other colors of light. So it is an addition of light or subtraction of light. You need to kind of figure that out. So when you see all three lights together, you see white. They also have this colored shadows investigator where it helps you answer some of your questions. What's happening? Where do those colors come from? Is it blocking light? Is it adding light? So at the colored shadow investigator, notice that the lights are on, the red, the green, and the blue. And as you look down below, you'll notice that the shadows sometimes do not correspond with the colors above. Therefore, where do these shadows come from? And if you use the corresponding knobs, turn off a color, notice that some of the colored shadows have been reduced. So lights and color colored shadows. This is why this is one of my favorite exhibits at the Exploratorium. So come on down, explore, experiment, try new things. Like, have you ever seen this before? Wow. Ooh.